Hello and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Otis and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Otis's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and the motivations we give the dogs while we're working with them, and the training equipment we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training lead and he'll keep most of that folded neatly in his right hand, which leaves the left hand free to give a correction. The correction if needed is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You're going to want to keep that collar high up behind Otis's ears and that will give you the most control over him. You'll notice that he's seated nicely on Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. The first command that we will demonstrate for you today is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and the command is Otis heal. You'll notice that he's been trained to walk nicely on your left at your pace, so there should be no lagging behind or pulling forward, and incorporated into the heel exercise is an automatic sit. So anytime you stop walking, Otis should sit nicely on your left, waiting for his next command. It's important to praise Otis throughout the training process. This is a great mental exercise for him, but he should enjoy the training. Fred's now going to demonstrate the stay command. You're going to use the op open flat of your left palm and the one word firm command to stay. You're going to want to make the sit stays relatively short in the beginning but build up his ability to stay for longer periods of time. When Fred returns back, Otis should remain seated until he receives praise or another command. Very nicely done. We'll run through the heel, the sit and the stay again for you. It's important to incorporate all of these new commands into your daily life, but we also recommend that you set aside about 10 to 15 minutes a day to run through the commands in a formal session such as this video. It will help keep the commands fresh and keep Otis responding to you. Fred just left them in another sit stay, the left palm in front of the face and the one word from command to stay. This time Fred is going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. The command is Otis come and he's been trained to come in and sit nicely right in front of you. Fred will then have him return back to his left side which is the heel position. Very good job. We'll show you that one more time. Command is Otis come. He's been trained to come in and sit nicely right in front of you. And then Fred will have him go back around to the left side. Very good job. Nice automatic sit. If there's a time of day that he's especially excitable, that's when you're going to want to practice the commands. Mental exercise will tire him out quicker than physical exercise. Fred's now going to demonstrate down from a heel position. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm straight down, down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. It's going to leave him in a down stay. As with your sit stays, make your down stay short in the beginning but build up his ability to stay for longer periods of time. When Fred returns back, he's going to walk all the way around and Otis should remain lying down until he receives praise or another command. Nicely done. We're going to heal him out of that and we'll show you down from a heel position again. As you can tell, he really does enjoy the training. He's always looking up at Fred, waiting for his next command. Another down from a heel position and leaving him in a stay. This time Fred will call him in. Command is Otis come. Have him sit right in front of you when you call him. And then back to heel position. Very nicely done. The last command that I'm going to give Fred and Otis a minute to set up for is down from a distance. When you're practicing down from a distance, you're going to leave Otis in a sit stay and walk out to the end of the training leash and then this time Fred will give him the down command using his right hand at the end of the training leash. Perfectly done. Beautiful. These are all the formal obedience commands that Otis has learned while he's been away at school. It's been a pleasure having him. He's been such a wonderful student and we thank you so much for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.